Metatron. We finally meet this little weasel. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 21, The Great Escapist of Supernatural Season 8. This is the episode we are introduced to Metatron, and we also get a bit of conflict between Castiel and Crowley and Naomi. So yeah, we start to see just how dirty everyone's hands are starting to get. One of my favorite parts about this season, oddly enough, the part that I remembered the most about this season was the Biggersons bit. The idea that Castiel is constantly hopping from one Biggerson to another to confuse the angels. There, there is just so many bigger sons. I really like this idea. I thought it was great. And I was a little bit disappointed that it was gone and solved within like five minutes. Was it a good solution? Yeah, no, Naomi basically took the gloves off. Naomi had essentially been trying to do espionage, dark black op shit with like with manipulating Castiel's mind. At this point, she's like, I don't care we are going to get this done. So she sacrificed all of these humans who work at these bigger sins. And in the end, Crowley comes in with a gun that's made out of angel killing bullets. And it turns out there was also a mole inside the angels. And this is starting to show kind of the corruption of heaven. And that is probably a little bit of a prelude, prelude to what is gonna come at the end of this season. Then I like how Crowley figures out how Castiel had the tablet. Also, I kind of like how the scene was shot. For some reason, they kept on doing Dutch angles, and I'm wondering why. Why are you like Dutch angle, Dutch angle, Dutch angle? You're just kind of making it more and more weird. If Cash got away from her by touching the tablet, why would he ever stop touching the tablet? And then I thought to myself, so, he hasn't stopped touching the tablet now, has he? And in the end, we understand why when he rips the tablet out of Castiel's gut. It was so gross. It's so good. Like, I forgot that Supernatural used to be this gory. We already saw when he was torturing the, the pizza boy. And then now we see him ripping a giant thing out of his gut. That was great. That was awesome. All the while, Crowley has also got Kevin in this Hollywood-esque style manipulation pod. And I loved how he was just sitting on the back like a producer. Of course, if I wasn't running everything, I could have played Dean myself. Oh, you would have made a great Dean, sir. Crowley and Castiel and Naomi, those parts of this episode are great. Part that's a little bit slow, but it eventually becomes something interesting is Dean and Sam's journey to this random hotel, which I will admit they get there by a bit of a stretch of logic, a bit of a, quite a bit of a MacGuffin. It leads to them finding Metatron, who has been collecting books and novels and stories about humanity ever since he basically ex nade out. And Sam even gets pissed off at that. He's like, where the hell have you been through all of this suffering, all of this pain, all this torment? Just kill me. Because what is the point of doing any of this? And going back to Crowley and Castiel, I like how Kevin knew the whole time what was going on. And he was able to kind of manipulate and use some trickery to get in and out of that. And then right when Kevin looks like he's about to bite it from Crowley, Metatron swoops in and saves him. And after this, they are able to find out what the final trial is, and that is to cure a demon. And then they also pick up Castiel off the road. On the same road that they had picked him up prior this season, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> Overall, I like this episode's alternate story. I liked what was going on with Crowley, Castiel, and Naomi it was making that side story quite engaging, quite nerving, and quite funny sometimes as well. The main story with Sam and Dean took a minute to get going, and you were kind of wondering what was the point of it until the very end of the episode, yeah, once they met Metatron and they started to figure out what was going on, that's where it really felt like it was worth your time. So, a very great B subplot, really well done. A kind of a middling, but eventually worthy of execution A plot, really helped him start setting up the final stakes of this episode. We've got the establishment of a heaven basically being corrupt, if not broken. We've got Crowley's desperation to try and make sure that the gates aren't shut. He's worried about this. We've got the introduction of Metatron, who has his own play at hand, which that's... I'm waiting to see what happens in the next episode to see how that comes about. We'll see. And then we also have the final task of what they must do, being that they must 
cure a demon. And that, I remember hearing that and being, how the fuck are you going to do that? By the end, my rating for this episode is a 5 out of 7. It's a, it's a good setup. It's got a great subplot with an okay main plot. And it's starting to set up the stakes. And now we have two episodes left. Very, very excited. But now let's see what you guys have to say about this episode. The Great Escapist is my second favorite episode in the season. The stakes are raised very well and the humor is wonderful. It's another, con there is a, however, another continuity error when Sam talks about the brothers when they went to the Grand Canyon, when in fact in season two, it's mentioned that Dean has never been there before. Ooh, well, well it's kind of interesting. Like you said, like there's a little bit, a little bit of it in Carver's era. Aside from that, I love how passionate Metatron is about storytelling. As always, it's always great to see Crowley being a fun villain on the show. It was great to see Kevin standing up for himself and getting over his fears of Crowley. Castiel really shines in this episode too. Despite being beaten to a bloody pulp, he still stands for his beliefs, even if they are a little bit wrong. I really love how we learn more about Sam discovering the trials are purifying him. In my head canon, that's why we never he never got to use his psychic powers from the demon blood ever again. It's one of my favorite written episodes and the execution worked really well. My favorite part will be when Sam and Dean calling out Metatron and the angels about what they've done to humanity. Really powerful stuff, bringing Supernatural full circle of current events in the show. Now that's actually pretty good, and like you said, the part about um, uh, his purifying himself, that does make sense as to why just, we never saw the powers again. I like Castiel's plan to hide it from the angels. It was smart. I get that part. It's keeping it from the brothers that doesn't really make much sense. I do have a, to draw a line in the sand, though, at melting down angel blades to make bullets. I never liked the idea that anyone could use an angel blade. They have limits on how who can use Archangel Blades, but not Angel Blades. I like the add-on of Metatron. Uh, well, I guess going back to that, yeah, you do have a point because if I'm correct, Crowley never brings his gun up again. Um, but I'm not so much about worried about other people using blades. I like the add-on of Metatron of the show. It would give the show something new later. I like at the end where Castiel and the boys meet at the very end of the episode. Yeah, like I said, the same road that we've seen before. Both Kevin and Castiel are the breakouts in this episode, and I really love how Castiel managed to hide the tablet. It is definitely one of my favorite little tidbits of this season. I didn't see that coming. Also loved how he managed to escape the traitor angel. Yeah, no ripping his eyes out. I was interested finally meeting Metatron. Curtis Armstrong did a good job. Not surprised that someone who liked Metatron would hide from the world. Glad Sam and Dean called him out on his cowardly behavior and for not protecting Kevin. As for Kevin, really enjoyed seeing him trick the demons and standing up to Crowley. Glad Metatron rescued Kevin. I was really surprised by what the final trial was. Yeah, I remember that as well. This was great and a much needed episode for Sam. They have plenty, they're giving us plenty of insight into how Dean feels about the trials and he's not even doing them. But up until now, only snippets from Sam. I think the purified demon blood stuff was lazily handled. Only Jared's A acting made it acceptable. I just think that they made up the setup build up to it since it hasn't been a plot line for three seasons. When the last demon blood was ever mentioned, yeah, I guess like there is kind of that note there too. A good example, they could have had that be the cause of the breakup. Sam could have thought he was too p impure to be with Amelia. Ah, I kind of like its groundedness. Like I know a lot of people don't like the Amelia thing, but I liked how grounded it was. One more thing I would change at the start of the season during Sam's flashbacks, if there was one scene where Dam is in the same emotional state he was in the episode at the very end, for the fan backlash against him would have been absolved. I don't know why the rioters didn't go down that route. Also, kudos to Kevin and Castiel's jailbreaks. Absolutely. No, I, like you said, like, I liked how season seven ended with for Sam, but they kind of like, eh, on that. Uh, and then this is the last episode to be written by Ben Endlin. That is actually a really sad note. That actually makes me very sad. Ben wrote some of my favorite seasons, or sorry, episodes in season two, season five. And he also was one of the right, like, I think he also wrote The French Mistake in season six. So he, his absence will be felt, definitely. Thank you guys for your comments. We are now going into what used to be the original number for the end of a Supernatural season, episode 22. But this is not. This is the pre-season finale episode. Episode 22 being Clip Show. So make sure to give me guys' comments and thoughts about that episode, and I will read those off in the next review. We are two away, guys. I'm happy to be almost at the end of this road, so... Hope you guys join me for the last few. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week.